Hello, all. I say, all. Just waiting for people to come into the live. Hi, Facebook. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> Hi, both of y'all. And today we're going to talk about love and Valentine's Day deities and aphrodisiacs and all of that good stuff. So you guys on YouTube, you guys want to go ahead and grab your notebooks, grab your pens so that you guys can take some notes. I am now waiting on people to come on the live on Facebook. If you are on YouTube, just bear with me and please be patient. So we're waiting on some people to come through. I hope y'all like my wall. We did some more decorating today. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe to all that came to the live. We are going to talk about some love deities. We are going to talk about um, some aphrodisiacs. We're going to talk about some herbs and some oils. That can help you guys in your love life. That's what we're going to speak about today. Don't get it twisted. Love is a beautiful thing. Not at all twisted about that, sir. I'll show you for your input. All right. So we do have a couple people in the live on Facebook. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and get started for YouTube as well as Facebook. So if you guys see me, if you're on Facebook and you see me look over this way, it's because I have um, Bobby D over here recording me for uh, YouTube so that I don't have to do this video all over again for the YouTube channel. So we're going to talk about the deities that align with Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is coming up on February 14th and I will have some reading specials and I will have some discounted love rituals on sale as well but we're going to get into the deities. So if you guys have a pen and paper, grab a pen and paper. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, so we're going to speak about the love deities. We have the first love deity we have is Aphrodite. And I want you guys to really take notes on this part because we're going to go through the different faces of the different deities. And um, that would be the different faces would be the different pantheons that are of the same energy. But it is the same thing, like uh, kind of like Yemeya and Mami Watas. Yemeya is the uh, African deity and then Mami Watas is the Voodoo deity. Okay. So they're the same deity, but they come from different pantheons. They're in different pantheons. So um, again, we're going to go ahead and get started. Thanks for the love, Ashe. Um, so the first one that we're going to speak about is Aphrodite. This is from the Greek pantheon, and this is a god of love, sexuality, and aphrodisiacs. Okay? So um, Eros is the son of Aphrodite, which is also Cupid. Okay? And that's the Roman pantheon, and this is also the son of Venus, and then we have Erotis, and this is the god of lust and passion, heterosexuality, and homosexuality. Then we have Hathor, which is the Egyptian goddess of love. She is the wife of the sun god Ra, um, and she represents, she's a goddess of fertility and feminine love and passion, and she is represented in the physical form as a cow. Uh, then we have Kansu, who is also a face of Ochosi, who is from the Yoruba uh, pantheon. And um, we have Oshun, that's also a deity from the Europa Pantheon. So Ashe Aphrodite, Ashe Cupid, Ashe Eros, Erotes, Ashe Hathar, um, and Ashe Kansu, Ashe Oshun, and Ashe Ochosi. And then we also have Arzuli Dantu, who is also a love deity. And she is from the uh, Voodoo Pantheon, and Arzuli Frida would be Oshun in the Voodoo Pantheon as well. And then we have Venus, and this is... Uh, the love and the beauty goddess and this is the grant i'm sorry the fruitfulness of the feminine the divine feminine i'm like the feminine what is it the divine feminine okay so oshun is going to represent your love and your fertility and the feminine sexuality or azuli frida is her face in the vidun pantheon and she pretty much is the same as oshun um azuli dantor is the other half of um Arzuli Frida, and she is a love deity. Um, Arzuli Dantor is a little bit more, I don't play no games, than Arzuli Frida is. Now, they're both furious, they're both high energies, but they um, they come from the Voodoo Pantheon. So, um, the information that I have on you as far as aphrodisiac, what is an aphrodisiac, guys? An aphrodisiac is a food or a drink or a drug that stimulates sexual desire. 
And we're talking about this again because that Valentine's Day is coming up and I want to get you guys prepared. This is why I'm doing this video early so that if you guys want to go ahead and do your love rituals or you guys want to go ahead and uh, start getting them aphrodisiacs in your system for when you guys are with your loved one, uh, we can go ahead and get it started. I want to give you guys some time to put that in because as you know, you know how the work goes. As you do your work, it's going to take baby steps. Nothing happens overnight. So if you guys are going to get started on your love rituals, even if you're trying to draw a mate, if you have a relationship and you want to make a relationship better or any of those things, then um, we're going to go ahead and get started now. So some of the aphrodisiac examples that I do have for you guys is chocolate, oysters. We have asparagus, watermelon. You guys don't want to spit out those watermelon seeds. They're actually really, really good for your health as well as your sexuality. We have um, celery, pomegranates, chili peppers, avocados, pumpkin seeds, figs, garlic, pine nuts, cinnamon, almonds, ginger, sweet potatoes, coconut water, and then also uh, anything associated with love, you have the hearts, and the hearts represents, I'm sorry that it's breaking up for you, what country are you in, Angela, are you in the United States? I hope it's not breaking up that bad, um, I do have, let me check my signal. Yes, I got four bars, so I think I'm good on my end. I'm not sure if you guys if, if you guys are able to see the video. If not, you guys will be able to check this video out on the YouTube channel, which is Beautiful Light, if it is breaking up that bad for you, because we are recording this twice as we do this one time. So hearts, when you see hearts on a picture or um, in a sigil, that represents the heart chakra and opening up that heart chakra. So some of the oils that you would be able to use as an aphrodisiac would be lavender oil. This creates relaxation for a better sexual experience sandalwood um this is for women to inhale this is going to increase your mood and your desire that lang lang oil increases the feeling of euphoria so you could also use some of that right before your sexual encounter or your sexual experience and that would help with the euphoria feeling of that and this is casamora edilis casamora edilis that's an oil that increases sexual behavior from the seeds that are from central america and from asia um, are consumed as an aphrodisiac. If you do, guys, if you guys do come across this oil in America, do not consume this oil. Don't say Beautiful Light told you to do it. Don't say Bela Ora told you to do it. I do not condone. Hold on, you guys. My for Facebook. I'm sorry for YouTube. My Facebook video um, did disconnect. It's trying to reconnect now, so I'm gonna pause for a second until I can get them back. Just give me one moment. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know. All right, I'm still here, guys. I got back online with the Facebook. I hope you guys are still here with me. Um, I do apologize for that. Maybe that signal, was, that weak signal was on my end, even though my phone short, showed four bars. Um, so again, some of the oils that you can use to increase your sexuality and your sexual uh, desire. Uh, that yang, that lang lang oil increases your feeling of euphoria, self-esteem, and sexual st stimulation. The Casima Aroa Eldis increases sexual behavior. The seeds from Central America, again, in Asia, are consumed as an aphrodisiac. And again, do not consume that oil. If you're in the United States of America, you're actually going to need the actual seed from South America, or you're going to need the seed from Asia to consume that. And ginseng for men, um, this helps with better erectile function. If you guys need that help, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Um, and then we have some random aphrodisiacs for you guys. The random aphrodisiacs would be champagne, asparagus, apples. And one thing that you can do with apples is if you have a mate, you can cut that apple right down the middle and you can eat one half and then give your uh, other half of your apple to your significant other. And this will increase your happiness and to ensure a long lasting relationship. So that was a little hoodoo, uh, little tip for you guys as well. Um, that apple saffron that's a very expensive uh herb but you can cook with it and you can take a bath with it and that will increase your sexual desire for men uh, bananas is good for men red wine salmon walnuts vanilla honey coffee that uh the coffee increases desire and pleasure when you're uh in your little sexual mood um strawberries cherries whipped cream and you don't want to have any cheese or any microwave popcorn if you are trying to increase the aphrodisiac in your system, um, you want to stay away from those two. One for the radiation in the microwave popcorn and then dairy products. That is that is known to take down your sexual desire. So if you're going to try any of these aphrodisiacs, try not to eat any dairy 
around the time that you're using that so it can be its most potent. So that is the information that I have for you guys concerning the love deities um, for Valentine's Day that's coming up. I do have a promotional reading going on and it's going to be the love reading for you guys if you guys want to know about your love life or whatnot those readings are going to go on sale for $25 uh, for your love readings and um, my regular price readings are $45 the Orisha readings are $55 so this is a heck of a deal you guys I'm doing it for $25 for your love readings only and then I'll be selling two rituals and those rituals are going to be that well, I'm going to sell three rituals those rituals are going to be $35 a piece we have the Oshun deity uh, jar love spell that I did get from Bobby Hemet. Um, so uh, that would be a good one for you guys to go ahead and this one you can use to open your heart chakra and attract love from a specific person or allow the universe to uh, bring you a mate and that's what that old shoon love jar would be so if you're single this would be a good ritual for you um, to go ahead and try or um, if you're trying to open up your heart chakra to receive the love that you desire this would be a good uh, ritual for you to try and this ritual is going on sale for $35 um, and then we have a Red Hot Intimacy spell. And this ritual is going to be on sale as well for $35. And this is going to bring you and your lover closer if you're already married, if you're in a relationship, if your relationship has been a little rocky. This is a great way to refresh your relationship. Um, so that ritual also is going on sale for the same price. And then I have a egg ritual, which I will um, give to you guys for $15. And that's a really, really simple one. And this is if you're interested in someone or if you would like to date someone, uh, this will help you be able to do that for the next six months and see how it goes. And then after that, you would have to, of course, take another step. So if you guys want to book those readings, they are on sale now. I'll be advertising it. If you guys want to go ahead and purchase those rituals, they are also on sale now. This is the information that I have for you guys. I appreciate you guys. We are almost. OK, let's see. I'm going back for a second. Yep, it's breaking up again on my Facebook. So we are almost uh, done with the video. I'm probably going to go ahead and end my Facebook Live and just finish this up for YouTube. You guys can contact me on my Instagram, which is Beautiful Light of... No, my Instagram is Beautiful Light of 717. And you, can, you guys can send me an email at beautifullightofisrael at gmail.com and that Israel is spelled like my last name which is I-S-R-E-A-L you guys can hit me up on Facebook um, for Bela or Israel all cash all cash payments will be accepted via cash app, PayPal or Facebook Messenger um, yeah you guys go ahead and hit me up